Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Digital News Delivery. I'm Kyle Cook. And I'm Maria Dobbs. And this week we're going to be talking about the iPhone 7 and how that's kind of changing um, uh, journalism for the better. Yeah, definitely. Um, a lot of people have started using their phones instead of cameras to take pictures that will go on websites and um, help enhance their news stories. So I think people don't want to carry around large cameras anymore if their phone will take the same quality pictures. Yeah, I was actually um, I was on Twitter the other day during one of the Thursday night football games, and uh, Sports Illustrated kept sharing this. Um, they kept updating this tweet of all these pictures taken with the iPhone 7. They had. Uh, journalists there taking photos on the sideline with the iPhone 7 and it was almost impossible to tell which one was taken with a professional camera which one was taken with the new iPhone. Yeah and a big um, feature that the iPhone 7 Plus has now is portrait mode which actually blurs the background in the photo which kind of creates a depth of field within the pictures which makes it look a lot more professional and I think this is the first time that has been used in a camera without using an app so it's a big change. Yeah and I still have the iPhone 6 so I'm I was very, when I first got it, I was very happy with the camera, but now, you know, everybody's got the iPhone 7, and uh, have you noticed a difference when you're using it? Yeah, I notice when the pictures are side by side, um, when you look at an iPhone 6 picture, it still looks really nice, but once you have it compared to an iPhone 7 picture, that's when you see the real differences. Yeah, and I think another big thing that the new camera on the iPhone um, helps with journalists is the live streaming. I think everywhere you see um, all these big events, even the presidential debates, are being live streamed through uh, people's phones on apps like Periscope and Facebook Live. I know um, the Collegiate Times hosted the, the debate on campus the other day, and even they were live streaming it on their phones. Yeah, I mean, I think better quality pictures make the everyday person be able to be a journalist too. Um, they post their pictures on Twitter so they can get their own news out there too. You don't have to be a professional with professional equipment. so. I think that's cool about the iPhone 7 as well. Is there any new updates on the iOS, the software for the iPhone that you th have seen with different news delivery? Um, I think the biggest difference was with the camera. Um, I just updated mine so that I could have the portrait mode with the blurred background. So I think that was the newest update. Um, I did that this morning, actually. Wow. Yeah, I also saw that, um, and I know the home screen is different for the new update. And if you slide to the left, if you s slide to the left, it goes to your camera. If you slide to the right, it automatically goes to your news, which is a new feature. And we've seen old vodcasts, actually, of the, um, the news that's curated for you. But this one, it's, it's curated for you, but it's also the most recent news. So I was going, I s slided uh, right the other day, and I saw all this content about the presidential debates and also the sports teams I follow. So it's nice that it's, it's even more advanced yeah, this time it's, around. It's a lot easier to look at your news. You don't have to go to the app. You just slide right. So, yeah. Well, that's going to wrap up this edition of the Digital News Delivery. I'm Kyle Cook. And I'm Maria Dobbs. Thanks for joining us.